Hey, hello out there, you VW fans. This is my first video on my VW Jetta Sport Wagon. Um, I just thought I would show, hopefully, how to install this fog light kit onto my Jetta. It's actually a Golf, but don't tell anybody. It's a Mark VI. Um, here's the pieces and parts for this mounting. Hopefully everything is going to work out right. You can see the two lights, the two brackets or panels. There was only two zip ties in this kit that I bought. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch of spare. Hopefully those four inch ones will be big enough for what I need. And um, so let's get started and uh, see how things are going to turn out. I think what I'm going to do, the instructions I found online said to start with the mounting the fog lights. And uh, I think what I'm going to do first um, is to just make sure that that um, switch is going to fit my car because I've seen a video online that had a different plug to it than that one. So I want to make sure that mine will match up with this. Anybody have any idea if that is Chinese made or Mexican made or wherever? I don't see anything on it that says. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get uh, into the car. All right, so uh, wish me luck on this. Supposedly you just push it in and turn. Yeah, right. That didn't work. Try it again. Come on. Yeah. I guess not. And it comes out. <laughs> there it is. Okay, good. And guess what? That's the same socket as what's on my switch, my replacement switch. So we're all set. I'm going to uh, now hop to the front end and begin the process of mounting the fog lights and begin the process. I don't know if you can see, but this uh, was quite the spaghetti mass when I started. It took me two or three minutes to unwrap everything. So what I'm gonna do to start is just lay the wiring out in the engine compartment here on top of the engine compartment, like that, and uh, just lay it down. Okay, and I got all the way out here to my barn to start work and realized that I left the instructions that I printed out in the house, so BRB. So both instructions say, I've got two sets of instructions, hopefully I'll think to put them on this video. Both sets of instructions say to start by removing these grills on either side. And that's not going under there. How about under here? <laughs> okay, it says right there, okay. All right, step one, done. Break. So the next step calls for spreading out the wires, as I've done here somewhat. It's a little bit messy here. Um, and then 
routing them down behind the driver's side headlight. Uh, my light's not very bright down in there, but you can see, I hope, that one of the yellow wires is down there. And um, it's going down that way. And, uh, okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now is route those babies down in there. Don't know how I'm going to show that on the camera. But uh, trust me. Boom, there it goes, just fell. Okay, that's going to be the driver's side. Maybe I should pull that out the hole. Whew. Next step, you can see there's the... I think this one that's hanging down and looping... Yep, that's the one that's going to go across to the side. Like that. Somehow. Go across. Huh. Okay, there's a rubber channel right there. Hey. Lord, I need some need some cold water. Break. Can't tell if it shows, but the nut is in there. And my battery light is flashing great. There it is. Okay. So I gotta stop. Okay, my battery light's flashing at me, but uh, can you see that cap nut down in there, way over there? Can I get the light on it? Right there. That's where you have to run the ground for the driver's side. Back out a little bit. It's behind the headlights. And I hope that's showing up. I think I can see it. And I've already got the black wire connected. That's the ground wire. All set. Okay, so uh, I'm at the point now where it says plug it in. Plug it in. And mount it up. So, plug in. And mount it up. So, to mount it, don't know if I showed this before, there's two fingers that go into those two brackets. You slide it in. Like that. And it should line up with the bolt hole over there. T25 torque socket and nut, bolt, go in there. Oh. Okay. This is supposed to slide in there. <clears throat> supposed to. And then well, maybe I'm gonna wait on this for a second.
Now if we can just get this to line up here, and groovy. Boom. Snap, crackle, and pop. In. Okay. Doesn't that look beautiful? One side done. On to the driver's side. Now, driver's side. Check already the ground to make sure that that's all kosher. Snap that in. Get the wire out of the way. Slide the two tangs or tabs into the slots. And right there. T25 screw into that hole somehow with two left hands. Thank you to my son for a Father's Day present here, new drill. And what I do with it. There we go. The grill. Don't slide in there. Take that out. Snap the grill back into place. Ruby, look, can't see reflections, reflections. Oh, you can't tell, but it's uh, 95 degrees out here right now. I think that looks pretty good. Except I need to get a honeycomb grill for the lower. All right, now for the electrical fun. Um, I have taken off the cover from the fuse box. That was a little more difficult than I expected. It's a hassle. Um, you have to slide these two clips back into the unlocked position. Locked is forward. And then just lift it off. Now I have to disconnect the battery. I wasn't going to get to the electricals today, but had so much fun getting the fog lights mounted. Come on. Kim. Uh, well, it's loosen. I'm gonna watch for safety put that here. There we go. And start with the negative, of course, first. And the positive. it says lift the battery out. Oh, I have to take the cover off first. Come on. Remove battery cover. Yeah. Sure. Once again, the ground cable is just really, really tight. Okay. 
and then remove remove the mounting bracket mounting bolt which is located right down there a lot longer than necessary but Oh, what an inconvenient place to put the brake fluid reservoir. Okay. Okay. Battery mounting bracket. Come on. Lay it on top of the engine cover. Oh, and there's no... <laughs> okay, how many batteries these days don't have lifting brackets on them? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, it's so easy. Nice and light. Okay. Next it says remove the battery pan. Three bolts. One, I see one, I see two. The third I think is that one, okay. All this is to give me access to a place where I can punch the the blue wire through the firewall. Yep. Guess what? Oh, Cremola. Of course, one of the battery pan battery pan bolts is underneath the positive ground, positive cable. Great, 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 great. I'll have to get a new zip tie for that. Tells me I'm gonna to have to cover this up tonight because it's getting dark out. All right, I'm trying to get one of them underneath the red wires. The other one is over there. Already out. You can see where I had to cut the zip tie for the positive wires. Come on. Theory, this comes out now, right? Huh. Put you down. Yeah. Right. 
these red cables are just really strong and um, really in the way. Yeah. I'm not going to get this back in. <laughs> Come on. Hopefully as carefully as I put it. Took it out. Hey, look at that. A lot of space now. Okay. So, 